Hey everyone, Cherie here. Today I'm going to create a traveler's notebook spread featuring the Felicity Jane Hope Kit. I still have some of these mini file folders here and I really want to use one on this spread today. I think it's a great way to add hidden journaling, uh, extra photos uh, or whatever you like. So I'm thinking I'll use one of those on this spread today. I've got two photos to use. One is about three inches square. The other one is about three by two. And I've printed that out so that it will fit inside that little file folder. I think it's super cute. Okay, I've got other bits and pieces from the Hope Kit here to use. I really want to use this pink plaid paper. I think that's really pretty. I've got the tiny dot puffy alphabet stickers here. Uh, I do have a couple of those embroidered hearts left. These are sold out in the shop unfortunately but I love them. Lots of die cuts here to choose from. I've got the tiny little die cut hearts threaded onto a piece of twine. They did come with the little hole in the center of those so I do have a couple more here I might add to that uh, twine but we'll see. Got other bits and pieces here, buttons and all sorts of goodies, but I think I'll make a start and show you how I'm going to put this one together today. Okay, so to start off with, I've cut a strip of that pink plaid paper and I'm just adhering a piece to each of my Traveller's Notebook pages. So I made sure it was large enough so that I could put one of the mini file folders onto that pink plaid paper and it would still have a border of the pink plaid around it. So that's stuck on there. I'm just making sure it's nice and even on both pages so that it matches up. And then I'm going to grab my sewing machine and I'm going to stitch across the top and bottom of each of those pieces. So that's done. I can go ahead and add my photo to the first page, just centering that on there. All right, so next up, I'm going to use the scalloped piece from the paper packaging. So because my little mini file folder has that blue tab, I wanted to match the blue and just have a little peek of blue coming out from under that photo on the left hand page. So I'm just trimming that down. I'm using the darker blue from that strip and I'm going to tuck it underneath that left side of the photo. I'm just trimming it down a little bit and making sure that I'm happy with how that's going to look and I am so I'm going to go ahead add some double-sided tape and tuck that under the side of the photo. So now that that's done I can go ahead and add my title. So I'm using the essential puffy alphabet stickers with the tiny dots. I absolutely love these alphabet stickers. Okay, so my title is in place and now I'm adding that length of twine that has those little heart die cut pieces threaded on. I did add a couple of extras, so I think there's about seven little hearts on the twine. So I've just used my stapler, stapled that top one on. I did add a knot to the top and bottom of that twine and I'm just stapling it into place. So now I can just spread those little hearts out and I'm really happy with the texture that they add to this spread. So I've got this floral piece here, which I've cut from the floral pattern paper from the kit. And I'm just adding that to the bottom right of the photo, just with some foam squares. So that's the first page complete, keeping it nice and simple and fresh. I do love a clean, fresh look to my projects. So I've got the mini file folder. I'm just adding this today word from the Shea Puffy Word stickers. And now I'm going to add my journaling inside the file folder on the right hand side. And my photo will be going on the left, uh, but I don't want to stick it down just yet because I want to add a couple of things to the front cover and I'm going to add stitching. So that photo is going to cover up the stitching once it's done. So I've got this phrase uh, die cut here that I'm going to stick onto the front of that mini file folder. So that's going roughly there. And then I've got the little embroidered heart that I want to put above that. I'm just using some super strong double-sided tape. In the end, I don't know why I used tape because I do end up adding a staple to it. But you'll see me do that very shortly. I did try to reposition that heart. Wasn't quite happy with how centered it was. 
All right, so I'm going to add a staple there. Just make sure that that's in the right spot as well, that die cut phrase. And then I'm going to grab my sewing machine and add the stitching. All right, so that's done. You can see the stitching on the inside of the mini file folder there. And this photo is going to cover that up perfectly. All right, so I just wanted to add one more thing inside the file folder onto that photo because it does have that dark section at the bottom of that photo. So this little phrase, uh, it's the little things I'm going to add onto that. So I just cut that die cut piece into two pieces so that it would fit onto this photo. All right. So that is done. I'm now going to add the little mini file folder to the page and I'm using that super strong double sided tape to do that. So on this side, I'm not going to take it all the way up to the top. I want to leave a little bit of gap there so that I can use a little mini wide paper clip at the top of the mini file folder to help keep it closed while it's on the page. So roughly centering that onto the page now. And next up, I'm going to choose what color paperclip to use. So I was going to use the black, but I thought it was a little dark. So I've gone with a soft pink one instead, and that just helps to keep that mini file folder closed. So here's a close up of the little details here. You can see those hearts. I love that they're just loose on that twine. And here's that little mini file folder. You can see the stitching there and that embroidered heart, which I love. I'll open it up now. You can see inside there as well. And I have added the date to the bottom right there using the Felicity Jane roller date stamp. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing how I put this one together today. If you've got any questions, please just pop it down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I'll leave a link to Felicity Jane down below as always. So I'll see you again very soon. Have a great day.